Dear friends, welcome back. In front of me there is a Raspberry Pi Pico board connected to an 1 inch OLED display and as you can see an animation is running on the screen. We can do the same thing with a color OLED display as well. The animation is smooth and it looks great. But how did I achieve that? Was it easy? Let me show you. Let's start at once. There are many ways to load and display an animation on an OLED screen either a monochrome one or a color one. I am going to show you what I think is the easiest way to achieve it. I'll work with the monochrome OLED, but the procedure works with the color one as well, with only one minor difference that I'll show you later in this video. First of all, what is an animation? An animation is just a series of images displayed in succession. So if we have a series of images, we can turn them into an animation by displaying them one after another fast enough so the human eye cannot perceive the individual images but only the overall animation. CircuitPython makes it extremely easy to display an animation out of a series of images. So all we have to do is to use the Adafruit image load library and load a sprite sheet image. But what is a sprite sheet image? It is just a normal image, but it contains a series of smaller images or sprites. In our case, each sprite is 64 by 64 pixels and we have 28 sprites in total, placed one after another in the sprite sheet image. So the image size of this sprite sheet is 64 times 28 pixels in width and 64 pixels in height. So all we have to do to achieve the animation is to load the sprite sheet image and display each sprite one after another, fast. Let me now show you how to load the sprite sheet and be sure to watch the video until the end because I'll show you how to create your own sprite sheet easily. To display an animation with CircuitPython, first you need to connect the displays to your Raspberry Pi Pico board. Check out the detailed videos I have prepared about connecting these OLED displays to your Pico board. Then you need to install two libraries, the Adafruit Display IO SSD1306 for the monochrome display or the Adafruit SD1331 for the color display and the Adafruit Image Load Library. To install the libraries, we have to download the CircuitPython Libraries Bundle from this link and unzip it on our computer. Since I developed the project using CircuitPython 8, we need to download the bundle for CircuitPython 8. Now, all we have to do is to locate the needed libraries and copy and paste them inside the lib folder in the CircuitPy drive, just like this. Also, we need to copy the spreadsheet image file in the CircuitPy drive. Your CircuitPy drive should now look like this. We have a code.py file with the script to run on the board, the spreadsheet file, and a lib folder with all the libraries required. You can find links to all the files needed in the video description. Now all we have to do is to run the code.py script and the animation will appear on the screen. Cool! As you can see the script is very easy to use. All we have to do is to define the sprite width and height here, the file name of the sprite sheet and the total number of frames it contains. I'll show you how to find this number in a minute. Just like that, you can load an animation on your OLED display. You can also call the invert colors function if you want to invert the colors of the animation on a monochrome display. Now let's see how to create a new animation from scratch. The easiest way is to turn an animated GIF icon into a sprite sheet. So let's visit icon8.com, a website that offers thousands of free GIF animation files. Let's search for a weather icon let's say a storm icon. I selected a black and white one since I'm going to use it on a monochrome OLED, but I could choose a color one if I wanted to use it with a color display. Now all you have to do is to convert it into a sprite sheet. Now here is the cool thing. The conversion is very easy. I developed a Python script to achieve just that. Just run this script on your computer with the GIF file in the same folder with the script. Before running the script, just set the file name here, the output size in pixels, 64 by 64 for example, and if you want color or not. Since I am using a monochrome display, I set the variable monochrome to true. 
That's it. Now we can run the script and it will output a spritesheet file ready to be used with CircuitPython. Cool, huh? The file name of the spritesheet tells you how many frames it contains. So you can use that number in the CircuitPython script. 28 in this example. Now copy the produced file to your CircuitPy drive and rename it to something similar. Check that you enter the correct file name, sprite size and the number of frames here, run the CircuitPython script and the new animation appears. How cool is that? It just took us a few seconds. By the way, if what I just shared with you was really useful, then I would love it if you will give this video a like so more people can learn about this easy procedure. With the help of this script, loading animation is now easier than ever before, so we can add some very cool animation to our projects and make them shine. I have prepared a detailed video on how I developed this Python script on my second channel. It will teach you the basics of image manipulation in Python in just a few minutes and it will allow you to modify this script to work with other displays too. Check it out now by clicking on this link. I think it will help you a lot. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.